Is your race related to your ignorance? Now, around the world, many people know the different races or classifications of these races. So we have a good understanding how the world identifies us by the color of our skin, by our ethnic and our nationalities that we have been put into or placed by members of society. Now, we need to think about what is the definition of ignorance? And that's someone that does not have strong knowledge or understanding about a matter or a subject or topic. It is also those who do not want to come out of ignorance and they would rather stay complacent or stagnant or idle in their lives. But the title of this lesson or the question, is your race related to your ignorance? Now, we can look through different lenses and we can see certain things that have taken place. And it can be easy for someone to classify another, another race or another person that they are ignorant by their race and they don't know better and they would never understand more than what they display or claim to know. So we need to look at what God has created in every soul. Every human being has a soul and that soul does not have a race or a color or any label that has been put on the bearing of someone else. God directed, God created, God commanded for our souls to operate in conjunction with who we are. So on the day of judgment, God can judge our souls from the way that we live. So it's more than what this world identifies and signifies our life as. In the book of Acts in chapter 17, verse 30, Luke wrote, in the past, God overlooked such ignorance, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent. So God overlooked the ignorance from the Old Testament, the ignorance in laws, the ignorance in righteousness. the ignorance and evil and doing things against God that did not please him or caused him to get angry and place this wrath upon circumstances. 
So God wants us to look past what this world identifies. And we need to repent. That means that we need to turn from our ways, our ignorance, our stance, our thoughts, our feelings, our beliefs, our traditions, our views on life and repent through hearing and believing and coming to the terms of baptism and living a faithful life through that process, through that journey. Are you ready? Are you ready to turn from the ignorance from this world? The ignorance that separates you from God's kingdom the ignorance that will separate you from having a right relationship with the Lord. And the time is always in this present moment to look at your soul, to look at what God has stated to be truth. Live according to his will. Honor the Lord, glorify the Lord, praise the Lord, be obedient and faithful in the Lord. The time is right now, before it's too late, before it's too late for you to repent, before it's too late for you to live the life that God has waiting for you. And the time is always right now to know how much that he loves you, to be waiting eagerly for his kingdom. Your race is not related to your ignorance. Your ignorance comes from the lack of being in the Lord. It comes from not being anchored in God. It comes from not wanting to have a relationship with the Lord. It comes from you wanting this world that is evaporating, passing us by, to be your source of comfort, your source of truth, your source of life. When God is life, through his son, we find his kingdom. And those souls would not perish, but the ones who want to stay in the lack of knowledge, foolishness, lack of understanding, and not prepare their souls for the Lord's kingdom. God would not overlook your ignorance. He commands everyone to repent. The Bible talks about repenting. Jesus mentioned repenting for the kingdom of heaven is near in the New Testament. Time is running its course and your soul is not prepared. It's time to get your soul prepared. It's time to live in peace and in harmony and have that proper spiritual connection with the Lord. 
He desires for every soul to be ready for his kingdom. And right now, you're not ready. You're looking at this world and this world will overlook you. God's kingdom is ready for those who want to be in the rich richness of God. Come now and find rest through Jesus Christ. All who are weary and heavy laden, burdened, and you can find rest in the Lord.